Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. The brand new Piggy Team Build update just came out. Let's check out what's new. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Roblox Piggy. A message from Minitune just popped up on my Twitter feed. It says, Ahoy everyone, the team building update is out. It includes tons of features from auto saving to no clip, NPCs, a paint tool, another map slot, and so, so much more. Also, we've gotten reports of some mobile buttons being blocked by jump and move, so we'll be fixing this right away, exclamation mark. So here we are, in piggy, build mode, let's go. Back in build mode in my very terrible map that I built when it first came out. So I'm very excited to see what is new, what is different. We've got a paint mode now. I don't even know how to really use it, but I guess we should go into some of- Oh my gosh, we have NPCs now! What? Doggy! You're here! Bunny, you're not dead! Zizzy, you're a zebra and awesome! Pony, looking forward to seeing your new outfit in Piggy 2! George and Soldier. Soldier's bad. That's actually awesome. So can you have multiple of, like, each of the NPCs? I, I guess you can. I'm completely ruining my, my map right now, and I love it. Also, I can spawn an NPC, like, sideways. That's, that's pretty neat. What actually happens if he spawns like that? You know what? Let's play. Hello, soldiers. It's, it's nice to see you all. Oh, he, he straightened out. He figured out that he was sideways and, and resolved the issue. Although, what if I put them upside down? Hello, piggy. Thank you for ending the game. Oh, no, upside down doesn't work. You can't actually place them. Well, you have to place them above the ground. Okay, what is gonna happen to that one? Let's find out. He was upside down for a second, but then he found his feet. He's so skilled. Can you hurt me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely hurt me. Okay, so this is obviously very awesome. The addition of NPCs, but what else? Decorations. I've heard there are many more decorations. How do we, how do we scroll through the decorations though? Oh, there's a, there's a scroll bar. <gasps> Look at all the decorations. A toilet. It's glorious. So I'm going to put two toilets on top of my office. In case you didn't see this episode where I built this map, this is basically my backyard. And maybe at some point I'll actually add like my house to this. It seems kind of like a fun idea, right? Like building my house as a piggy map? Let me know what you guys think of that. And now that we have more tools, maybe we can get real creative with it. Double jump to no clip. Oh my goodness. This is very much needed. So if I do that, oh, it's so good. This is gonna make building so much better. We desperately needed this, and now that we have this, it's gonna be really, really nice. Because it was really hard to just, like, build stuff, because you have to actually, like, walk around and build yourself platforms to build, but now we can fly! We have unlimited power! Oh, this is so good. You know what? With my unlimited power, I should add a, at least another section to my very bad map. And we can play around with some of the new stuff while we're at it. What is, uh, do we have new events? Are there new events here? Are fire blocks new? I, I don't know. There's no scroll bar on this one, but I feel like there's more stuff here. The invisible blocks, but that was there before. Is the plank event new? Was the plank something that we had the option for before? What about all the key cards? I feel like all the key cards are new. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Now, what is the paint mode that Minitune was talking about? What do you suppose that means? Can we go into settings? What other options do we have in here? We haven't even... Oh, okay, so you can teleport yourself to the different spawns on the map. That's actually super convenient, too. So if you have a huge map, that's going to be very nice. And then, of course, the ability to build with other people is just incredible. So I could add my Roblox friends to the team builders list and they could join me in building the most epic piggy map ever. Now, are we actually going to do that? I don't know. Maybe one day. 
But right now, I just want to experience the unlimited power that I now have. And, and the ability to fly, which is pretty sweet. So I think this paint bucket is, is new. Oh, 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 you can change the blocks without having to replace them. So like, can I actually make these grass? Oh my gosh, I can actually make them grass, but I need to change the color to like dark green. Oh, look at how cool that is. Okay, so if you guys saw the first episode where I was first playing around with this building tool, I didn't realize that there was different actual like materials that you could use when you're making your level. So as you can see, my grass just is like a flat block. But now with this painter tool, I can very easily change the material that it's made out of. Look at that. That is a very welcomed change because the alternative to this would be deleting all of these blocks that I placed and then replacing them with the block that has the, the texture on it. I don't want to do that. So now I can just very easily do this. It's so pleasant. It's so nice. So there you go. In a matter of just a couple of minutes, I was able to transform all of the weird green blocks that I had into proper textured grass blocks. So I could do the same with this like dirt path that I have. Oh, check this out. I can change it into like sand, I guess. I don't know if I love that, but I guess it's better than what it is now. Is it though? Is it better? Actually, this texture right here is a million times better. The sand doesn't really blend together very well. I mean, you can very clearly tell that they're individual squares of sand. It doesn't work as well. So this, this is much better. Let's so check that out. Very simple changes, but they make a nice difference. I really, really appreciate these new tools. Now, one thing that I do want to play around with is the NPCs. So like, you know, obviously you can place an NPC, but how do you make them actually like active, right? Cause like Doggy, you have to bring him a bone. So are there items in here that, yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's see if that works. So if I grab this and bring it to good old doggy. Here you go, buddy. There you go. He's activated. But Piggy is not awake. So he's just going to stand there with his bow because he's a good dog. Good doggy. Go get him. Get him. Attack. He's done it, my hero. Doggy, you're the greatest. Okay, hear me out. I want to do something very dumb. I'm going to get all the NPCs and get all of their items so that I can give them the items that activate them like right away and just see what happens to Piggy. <laughs> it's, it's for science. Okay, so Bunny, you get the carrot. There you go. And then Doggy gets the bone. And then Zizzy gets the grass. George gets the apple. And then where is Ponies? What, what Pony also gets the grass? Is that right? Maybe that's right. Or does he get a carrot? Let's test it out, shall we? I kind of feel bad for Piggy, but not really. Because she's a monster. There you go, buddy. All right, enjoy that. And then you, you get... Oh, no, you want a carrot. I'm sorry, buddy. I should have known. Of course ponies want carrots. Ponies don't want grass. Although zebras eat grass, but ponies don't eat grass. Aren't they pretty much, like, the same? I guess they're not, but... I'm not going to read into it too much, but there they go. My army, my army of attackers. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Okay, so let's see. I, I wonder if they're still active and only one of them actually knocked out Piggy. So as soon as Piggy comes back, will one of them take her out? <laughs> We've got to know. This is so ridiculous. I love it. No, my heroes, they're not going to protect me. They all go ballistic right off the bat. So they all use their powers, even though Piggy is knocked out by only one of them. That's kind of a bummer, but it is kind of cool. So now here's the next question. Can we have multiples of the same NPCs? Can I have multiple bunnies? Can I just? No, there can be only one bunny. 
But what about multiple Georges? No. So you can only have one of each NPC. I cannot build an army of bunnies, which I kind of really wanted to do, but also makes sense because there is only one bunny. This world doesn't need more than one bunny. Okay, so now that I understand how the NPCs work and stuff like that, let's just add on a little bit more to, to my house here. So technically, the backyard is actually like going into where my living room would be. So I'm thinking that I should probably shrink this area. So why don't we just delete this wall and then rebuild it? And let me tell you, this is so much easier with the no clip ability. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's fixed. This area is technically the inside of my house. This would like be my living room. My TV would be right here. So why don't we build this area out a little bit more? And we won't worry about the actual material that we're using because I can always just use the paint tool to fix it. Although I am thinking about it, I'm just making more work for myself if I do it that way. So maybe I should actually just pick the material that I want to use right off the bat. So we have laminate floors that look like hardwood floors and they are kind of a grayish color. Ooh, hurricane gray. Yeah, I think that that kind of more or less works for what my floors look like in my house. So I'll also say that this little area that I built right here, this is like technically my kitchen. Doesn't feel quite right being right there, but you know, we're gonna have to get creative maybe with this one. No, getting to my kitchen does not require you to go out into the backyard and crawl through a vent. Although that would be kind of cool, but also super inconvenient. So I'm just kind of doing like a rough outline of what my downstairs looks like. Okay, so that's kind of sort of the layout of my living room slash dining room. And then there's a guest room right here. So this would actually be the front of my house and the entrance, the front door entrance. But I guess I need to build some walls. I should probably build some walls. Okay, so there's some walls. Uh, let me give you guys a quick little rundown or, or like kind of a tour of my sort of house, but not really my house. So this is our living room. There's a couch in here and there's a TV up against this wall. This is the exit or the entrance, depending on which way you're going, but this is the front door. This is a guest bedroom. It also has a bathroom right here, but uh, I didn't make room for that. So maybe if, if we continue this, maybe I'll make the bathroom come out this way. This right here is the dining room and there's a table where you eat because that's what you do in a dining room. And then this right here is technically my kitchen. So we might have to bust this out and build a proper kitchen here, but I think I'll save that for later. If we continue on this direction, uh, you'll head to like some stairs right here and then there's a hallway. There's a little bathroom right here and then there's a door I guess kind of like at the end of this hallway that leads to the garage and then of course you have the stairs that take you up to the second floor also laundry room I guess like right here ish, but then next to the laundry room are the stairs that go up to the second floor and I'm uh, that's way beyond what we're trying to do right here right now so at the very least, uh, we can turn this into a, a better puzzle and maybe we can decorate it a little bit. I don't know, like are there TVs? You got a computer monitor, which isn't quite a TV. But, hear me out, uh, we have like our, our entertainment center. So it's a, it's a little bit bigger than that. Okay, that, that could so, sort of work. And then a couch, okay. I like this, so couch. Kind of does this. It, it's one of those like L-shaped sort of dealios. Like that. Also, I don't know why I'm doing everything in this like very sad gray color. I assure you our entire house is not just gray furniture with gray floors and gray walls. I just forget to change the color. It's not quite a television screen. But it gives you the idea that that's where a TV is supposed to be. And then we have a coffee table, maybe the bench. Oh yeah, there you go. Our coffee table is actually kind of like a, 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 like a bluish gray sort of color. I guess that sort of works. Yeah, so there's my living room, which if you've seen my tour video that I did with Seth, uh, you will realize that this living room really just belongs to Seth. It's his playroom. Okay, next step. Uh, we need a dining room table. There's Kian's dining room table. 
And then this is a guest room. There's a bed in here, and that's just about it. Do we have a bed? Is there really no bed? There is really no bed. Huh, that is very surprising. Well, I guess we can build a bed out of a couch when all else fails. Build a bed out of a couch. There you go. And so we can we can make some interesting puzzles with that space, I think. Let's see if we can just work with what we've got here. So let's just get rid of some of the NPCs. And maybe what I should do is stick one of the NPCs, like, in the guest room. Maybe George is hanging out in my guest room. I like the sound of that. George, I hope you're enjoying your stay at, at my home. Now, how do we get to George? I don't know. We need to, we need to lock him in here. So we need an event and a new key. So let's go with purple, and let's fill in this space so that you just can't walk through it. There you go, so this is George's room. And then we need an apple somewhere, right? And then of course we need a way to get inside of the house. So we have a sliding door right here that uh, leads into the backyard from the living room. There's also a sliding door right here, but as you can see, uh, we don't really have room. For, for a door here because there's a vent. So what will represent my sliding door in the game? I think we need to throw in a key card, right? Let's go with the light blue key card. So now remember our end goal is to get the hammer and the white key. Now the hammer is inside of this little room, but what I'm thinking is that we can make this a little bit harder. So why don't we take the wrench and find a new hiding spot for that, right? Yeah, why don't we put the wrench in this room with George? I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, this map is not good. Like, it's not well thought out or well designed, but I'm doing the best I can with, you know, the tools that I have. And I think it's fun kind of like recreating my house in Piggy. Okay, so the wrench is in the room with George, but that means that you're gonna need to get the light blue key card and also the purple key. So where are we gonna hide those in a place that you can get to right off the bat? I think actually what we should do is move the hammer to the inside of the house. The problem is is that I don't have enough like closed off areas to actually make the puzzling better than what it is. So right now I'm just kind of working with this space that I've created, but obviously this could be way better if I had like more compartments, more hidden rooms, things like that. That's later though, that's later. Right now, let's just focus on the cool new stuff that we can play with and, and try to make this at least a functional uh, map. So you got the light blue key card inside of this vent. So that'll give you access to the living room. I feel like it's just kind of cheap to just put the purple key in the room that the lock is in. But at the same time, I don't wanna get too crazy with, with my design here. So I think that we'll just maybe like hide it next to the TV. I mean, it's not a super great hiding spot. And then also we need an apple. Uh, I like the idea of putting that on top of the table because that's where an apple would, would be. So then, you unlock the purple key room, you get George, you give him the apple, and then you grab the wrench, you come back around here, you open this up, you grab the white key, you get in there. Oh, the hammer, the hammer. Where do we hide the hammer? I don't think we're actually gonna hide it. We're just gonna put it around the corner because I'm bad at designing piggy maps. Also a little lazy. And there you have it. There's, there's my map, at least so far. Like I said, this is a work in progress. So let's try it out. I know it's not very good, but I, I like it. I like the idea of it being based on my house. That's kind of cool. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so we can, we can crawl in here, right? And then we grab the light blue key. Look at me, I'm so smart. Open up this guy, go into my living room, please. Oh, did I put it in backwards? Is this backwards? I. <laughs> Okay, that was a little finicky, kind of scary. It wasn't backwards, so I don't know why it didn't work a little bit better. Look, my living room is so cozy and nice, but you know what I'm missing? Just like toys all over the place. We need toys all over the floor, and ones that will really hurt your feet if you step on them, too. That's a very important process in recreating my home experience. Okay, so I got the apple. I gotta go give it to George so that he can protect me from Piggy. Please, 
destroy your sister for me. Thank you. I'm, I'm so sorry that I made you do that. It's actually kind of mean. Okay, so I got the wrench. So I can use this to open up the, the, the laser gate and go into my front yard. Nice. <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, it's a it's a terrible map, like I said, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way it all kind of is coming together here. All right, open that, and then all we need is the hammer, and then I can get into my office and I can start recording YouTube videos, because that's the end goal. Where's the hammer? I, I put it there, and I almost forgot where I put it. That's, that's pretty bad, actually. That's, that's just embarrassing. We done it! I beat the world's hardest piggy level ever. It's not. It's definitely not. But I don't know about you guys. I think that this update is super cool and makes some adjustments that were very, very needed in the build mode of Piggy. This is awesome. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. But that is going to do it for this video. Also, let me know if you want to see me continue building my house out here as a Piggy level. We may come back to it from time to time. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.